हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट नोइंग दैट अल्फा इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंड दैट बूम ए सी एग्जर्ट्स ऑन पिन सी अ फोर्स डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग लाइन ए सी डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दैट फोर्स एंड द टेंशन इन केबल बी सी सो वी हैव दिस बूम ए सी एंड दिस केबल arrangement and here we have this 300 pound force and uh, the ac boom is making 30 degree with the vertical and this 30 300 pound force is making 20 degrees with the vertical and this alpha angle is given which is 55 degrees and we are asked to find the force which is applied by the boom at this point c in this direction along the along this ac so if you want to draw the free body diagram this will be our free body diagram so let me uh, show all the forces so we will have this force f which is required the, the force applied by the boom so this is force f and when we cut this rope we will have the tension in this rope as well so this will be the tension in the rope like this now it is said that the alpha angle is 55 degree this angle is 55 degree so if i draw a vertical line here so this line and this line both of these lines are parallel so this angle and this angle both of these angles will remain the same since both of these angles are alternate angles so if if this angle is 55 degrees then this angle is 55 degrees as well so this means that the tension in the rope is making 55 degree with the vertical as well so we can show that this is making 55 degree angle here as well so let's show that the tension in the rope is making um 55 degree with the vertical so this is 55 degree this is that angle alpha similarly um this boom is making 30 degree with the vertical so if we draw another vertical line here so this angle and this angle both of these angles are equal since these are alternate angles so this angle and this angle both of these angles are same so this means that the force of the boom is making 30 degree with the vertical as well so we can show that this is that 30 degree angle and that 300 pound force is making 20 degree with the vertical as well so now from from this problem statement a we can say that point c is in equilibrium and if the point c is in equilibrium these three forces must make a close triangle since the resultant is equal to zero so now we will arrange these forces in such a way so that they make a close triangle so let's say this is my force f force of the boom which is required and then this will be let's say my 300 pound force let's say and 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 we need to add these three forces by head to tail rule since the resultant of these three forces uh, this is the vector addition so we must add these vectors by head to tail rule and they must make a closed triangle and if they make a closed triangle the resultant will be equals to zero so this is force f this is 300 pound force and this is the tension in the rope so now as we know that the uh this force f is making 30 degree with the vertical so if i draw a vertical line here this is making 30 degree here and it is making 30 degree angle here as well so let me show that here that vertical line and this force f is making 30 degree angle here this is that 30 degree and this 300 pound force is making 20 degree with the vertical so we will have 20 degree angle here so this is 20 and the tension in the rope is making 55 degree so this is 55 degree if we draw a vertical line here then this angle is 55 degree so let me show that now this angle is 55 degree the red one and now we know that um this 300 pound force this vector is making 20 degrees here so it is going to make 20 degree angle here as well since both of these angles are alternate angles so this is 20 as well then this angle will be the angle between the head of 300 pound force and the tail of this tension t will be this angle which is 55 minus 20 
so 55 minus 20 is 35 so this means that this angle is this angle is 35 degrees so let's write that this angle is 35 degrees now we can find this angle we can find this angle as we know that the sum of the angle of a triangle is always equal to 180 so this whole angle is 50 so let's write that this whole angle is 50 degrees now let's say this angle is theta then we can say that um, theta plus 50 plus 55 degree this must be equals to 180 degrees since these are the angles of the triangle and then we can say that theta is 180 degrees minus 50 degrees minus 55 degrees so this will give us theta which is 180 minus 50 minus 55 so this is 75 so this theta angle is 75 degrees now we know all the angles of the triangle and we know the length of this vector which is 300 pounds so we can apply law of sines to find the force of the boom and the tension in cable bc so let's apply law of sines and we can say that force f divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this is force f and the opposite angle is 55 degrees so sine of 55 is equal to 300 pounds this 300 pounds and the sine of the opposite angle which is 75 so divided by sine of 75 degrees so now if you multiply both sides of equation by sine of 55 sine of 55 will cancel out from this side and we will get force f so force f will be equal to 300 sine of 55 divided by sine of 75 so this will be the force of the boom which is applied at point c so 300 sine of 55 divided by sine of 75 this gives us 254.4 so the force of the boom is 254.4 pounds Similarly, if you want to find the tension in that rope BC, again, we can apply law of sines and we can say that T divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to this tension T is this 50 degrees. So sine of 50 equals to 300 divided by the sine of the opposite angle, which is 75. So we can say that T is equal to 300 into sine of 50 divided by sine of 75 so sine of 50 so this gives us the tension in the rope equals to 237.9 pounds so the force applied by the boom at point c directed along this ac is 254.4 pounds and the tension in rope bc is 237.9 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning